Hey Mike. All your templates are loaded into this USB drive. Marlon had preloaded it in for you, okay? Now, this drive right here can go to any of the USB drives. So I'm gonna plug it in so you can see how it works. All right, as you can see, it automatically picked it up. It's in drive E. Now I'm gonna go to drive E. I'm just gonna go here and open the folder. Now in this folder, in this drive, there are four folders. The first folder is for your lots of templates. This lots of templates is gonna consist of six more folders. These six folders right here consists of everything that we have in terms of overlays. These overlays right here are basically overlays of one large, three small photos, okay? This folder consists of the two, of the four pictures of two in a row. And then this one is four pictures in a strip. And then this one is for the three pictures of a strip. And this one is four, but it's not the preset. You could kind of get the picture of where we're heading in here. <clears throat> That's the PSD, correct? Where if they wanted to... Uh, if you use... wanted to customize it, this is the Photoshop raw um, template. So if you open it in here, you could literally mm -hmm. uh, you know, customize the overlay using this. Okay, the next folder is for your photo prints, okay? That's where your print's gonna go. This is where you're going to be putting your, your custom photo prints, you know, your new ones. And then FroPot, this is your profile templates. This means every XML files that Marlon had created is in here. He's created an XML profile for one large, three small designs, so that, excuse me, you, you're, this way you're not having to recreate each and single one. Um, basically, with this XML profile, all you're doing is you're going, you're, you're just loading each one individually based on the, the type of overlays you guys are going to be using on an event. I'll give you an example sooner or later. Videos. This is where all the videos of what we're doing now in terms of how to use it is going to be stored right there in the video and this is just the basic uh, uh, you know setup guides and breeze software setup guides so now we're gonna go ahead and, and test this thing out okay now if you double click on a DSLR Pro Remote okay it's loading up right now What's going to happen is you're going to go to File, okay, and then go to Photo Booth Settings. When you go to Photo Booth Settings, this is what you're going to see. Number of images, 1 to 10. This means you could change this number to any amount of pictures you want, but you want to leave it into 4 because of the settings that Marlon had created, the XML. The XML. He's created it so that it matches these. So basically, all you got to do is you got to go Load, okay, Look for that folder that Marlon had created, which is your templates, okay? It's in the thumb drive right now. Oh, right now it's in a thumb drive. Yes. Which is E. Remember, when we typed in that thumb drive, it's, it was in E. So you might want to save it in your desktop prior on doing this. Right. Save it in your desktop first, and then do what I'm, I'm going through right now. Um, go to your profile templates. Say, for instance, you wanted to use one large, three small pictures for a birthday party. All you got to do is just go here and then load this in. Blue curtain profile and then hit open. Mm -hmm. And then once you have that open... You, your computer doesn't know, right? Your computer does not know where it's located yet. So you need to train it, right? Yes, you have to train it. So you have to point it. You have to click on this. There's a three dot right here, which you click. And then you have to go to your E drive because your computer needs to know that the whole file is on the E drive because I haven't saved it into the uh, desktop yet. 
So you got to go to the profile templates. And then remember, we said we were going to pick the one large, three small. And that's what it is because that is the XML that you loaded up. Then you just hit OK. Make once sure once everything is there, you could double check to see if that is the layout that you want. You go to setting. And then from settings, you click on preview. OK. See how that's the correct uh, settings that you want. I mean, the, the correct uh, overlay. It's just not the right setting. Um, because the printer is set up for a regular picture. So let me get out of there. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to File. I am going to go to Printer Setup. And I am going to set it up so it's set up for High Tie 510L. And then from there, I'm going to go two strips. Well, that really depends, OK? Um, you need to determine which type of layout you're going to be picking. Since you're picking one large, three small, you may just want to go with a 6x4 and you hit OK and then you go to file and then you go to photo boot settings again and then you go to custom layout and then from there hit preview just to make sure that's not the right one because it's supposed to be in landscape and not portrait so pretty much whatever I'm going through chances are you're gonna you know you're gonna run into you're so gonna the, the issue is what is the issue the issue is it's supposed to be in landscape so hit OK on the printer on the printer setup, setup and then go to file photo boot settings again go to custom layout go to preview and then there it is that was the template that is on there so you can see that it's already set up for that there's really no easy way to do it other than you getting used to it mm -hmm. okay let's say I wanted to go to uh, four strips okay that's easy if you wanted to go to a four strips you go to load okay and then you look for that four strips which four strips do you want do you want uh, you know the two strips of four presets or not the presets because there's two one two of them in here say for instance you want the two strips of four presets by this let me load it up by that what I mean by preset is when you go here and you go to preset this is a preset right here you know you could choose that you could choose that or you could choose the double you know strip of four and then you hit OK that's all preset see if you go here see how it matches it that's all preset now a non preset would be this one I'll go to load I'm gonna load up the non preset which is this one okay if I go here and I load that up right there uh, this means if I go to custom layout it wouldn't match it okay because there's nothing in it yeah we still need to uh, point remember yeah you don't forget to point to train the breeze software where to pull that that templates which is right there correct the three dots the three dots right here yeah, you need to tell where it's pulling again oh yeah I keep doing I keep forgetting to do that so going back again we're gonna go load up the not preset design we're gonna go blue and you're gonna go three dots and then go to E go to profile templates not preset okay hit OK and then go to settings and then double check it see as you can see it's not matching okay as you can see that the preset the preset is all the way down here mm -hmm. okay when it's supposed to be I mean it's all the way up here when it's supposed to be all the way down here mm -hmm. okay so this is not the preset the preset so but if you go and load the preset which is this one two strips of four hit okay and then, oh, don't forget to have it pointing to the right location, two strips of four, hit OK, and then go back to custom layout, and then go to free view. See, now that is the correct settings for the preset, see? OK? Hit OK. OK, let's say I want to go back to the um, one 
large and three small. Piece of cake. You go to load, look for that folder, one large, three small, look for that XML file, and then have it pointing again to the one large, three small designs and hit OK. That's it. Hit settings. And there it is again. All right. Okay. How about um, loading a different template? Okay. Loading a different template is easy. Okay. You hit, let's get out of this one. Okay. Now, again, all of those templates that we just showed you at the DSLR Remote Pro are being pulled here. No, it's not a, not there. It's in the thumb drive. But you can store it in your desktop. Correct. Right. Okay. Like, since for, you know, for example, say we were going to be putting in a different type of template in here. See, if you take a look at this, the template that it's pulling is this, this one. one. This is the overlay. Okay? The blue curtain. Now, let's say, we'll, we'll, how do I replace that with the, uh, the templates that are uh, stored in the thumb drive? Okay. Remember that it's located in here at the one large, three small. Go to your um, lots of templates. Go to your one large, three small. Okay. Here are uh, a bunch of uh, templates. It's located there. Let's pick this one for instance. Okay. Design number 51. Copy. Okay. And then let's go to your profile. Let's go to your one large, three small, and then we're going to copy it in here, in this location, which means we have to delete this, this overlay. Let's delete that. You could delete it or you could replace it with this one. What it's going to do is it's going to it's gonna flag you. Well, you know what, let's delete this first. And then this one, type in overlay. Because the only time the Bree software know that that is the correct overlay that you want to use is if you type in the word overlay. Not in capital. And then you go to File, Photo Boot Settings. And then you load that template up again. Okay? One large, three small. Same thing. You have it pointing to the right place. And then you hit OK. But this time, instead of landscape, change it to portrait. And then hit File, Photo Boot Settings, and then hit the Preview. Oh, it still has to be in the landscape. My bad. File, printer setup, landscape, file, photo boot settings, custom layout, and then hit preview. Yeah. This is supposed to be here. Which means the. Um the parameter is, is 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 not a preset, correct? Yeah. The the template that we input in there is not preset. It's not a preset. Okay. Okay. 